Ugh, oh, acne is the worst. I can't believe I'm gonna have to put on one of these stupid face mask things. Hunter, can you grab the groceries? Yeah, sure. This isn't what it looks like. Black people. A surprisingly controversial topic. You can get radically different answers depending on who you ask. For example, if you ask a crazy liberal lunatic what they think of black people, they'll probably say something like, They're the best! If only us privileged whites would just get out of the way and let the black people rule, America could soon become Wakanda. But if you ask some far-right, alt-right cuck, then they'll probably say something like this. Those darn n You know, them black people has the low IQs. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I know it means us white people are superior. Now, try and ignore the radicals on both sides of the aisle, and instead listen to me, the voice of truth. Because today, your favorite white boy is telling you the truth about black people. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. By the end of today's video, I hope to have earned my N-word pass. Today I'm talking about a rather spooky subject. It's a subject that, despite being debunked repeatedly, has yet again made a comeback. Of course, I am talking about the very controversial topic of race science. Most of us are aware that there is a disparity in IQs when you compare white people to black people. However, it's become an alt-right talking point to peddle complete nonsense that black people have a lower IQ because of race and genetics. The claim that there is a link between race and intelligence is the main tenet of what is known as race science. Race scientists claim there are evolutionary basis for disparities in social outcomes, such as life expectancy, educational attainment, wealth, and incarceration rates between racial groups. In particular, many of them argue that black people fare worse than white people because they tend to be less naturally intelligent. Yeah, that's right. There's actually a group of people stupid enough to believe that black people have a lower IQ because, and only because, they are black. Ironically enough, it's the idiots who peddle this nonsense that appear to have the lower IQ. So when exactly did this whole controversial debate begin? Has it been an ongoing discussion, or is this just Richard Spencer's wet dream? It's time to get into the history, so let's make like a black person in the 1500s and sail into this. The perception that black people have a lower ability of intellect was used to justify atrocities such as eugenics, slavery, and overall discrimination. When French Alfred Binet invented the first intelligence test between 1905 and 1908, and revisions of this test began to shape the test into something comparable to our current IQ test, a trend began to be noticed. Since IQ was quantifiable, it started to become clear that certain localities and races scored collectively higher on these tests than their counterparts. Parts. Northern states scored higher than Southern, and white Americans scored higher than black people. This realization started creeping into the politics of immigration, resulting in immigration largely being limited to the Nordic race. Laws such as the One Drop Rule in Virginia started to be enacted, where even if your heritage included the tiniest bit of African descent, despite looking white to the naked eye, you were considered a lower class citizen. The most outspoken proponents of these ideologies, such as Madison Grant, actually heavily influenced the agenda of Nazi Germany. Americans started to distance themselves from these beliefs as America began to war against Germany, but in the 1950s and 60s, the debate resurfaced when desegregation began. More recently, the book The Bell Curve, published in 1994, resulted in the American Psychological Association releasing a statement admitting that there is a difference in IQ between blacks and whites with no seeming explanation. So what is the validity of these claims? What has modern science and analysis found in response to the objective truth that blacks do score lower on intelligence tests than whites? The biggest thing to understand in this debate is it is immensely difficult to prove causation from correlation. There is a correlation between lower IQ and blacks, but that in no way means that the reason for this disparity is because these people are black. Another important distinction to make is that IQ tests are only an estimate of intelligence. The goal for these tests is to measure what is known as the G-factor or general intelligence. 
This is the type of intelligence that ideally has no change regardless of any environmental stimuli such as education or training. This way the results of these tests would seem to measure the tester's innate ability. The existence of general intelligence, however, is highly debated in academic spheres, but even if there is such a thing, many psychometricians argue that IQ tests do not adequately measure it. They argue these tests measure a limited manifestation of innate ability, and that prior exposure to a certain type of processing and cognitive habits would need to be had to perform well. Different cultures value different types of intelligence, and assuming there is one test to equate all of these manifestations seems to be a bit of a stretch. With that in mind, let's look at the last factor in the claim that a person's race affects their cognitive ability. What is race specifically? Most anthropologists believe that race is only socio-political and not biological. While there are certainly genetic differences between a Russian and an African, there seems to be no more of a difference genetically here than between a Spaniard and an Italian. Genetic differences can be seen much more clearly based on the location of two people being compared rather than the race. So even if black people do score lower on IQ tests, it doesn't really prove anything. It certainly doesn't dictate humanity or intelligence. So far, all we've really learned is that the alt-right morons peddling this nonsense appear to be three-fifths human of a vote. If race is unlikely to be the cause of differences in IQ, what have studies found? It seems like there are a plethora of other factors also correlated with race which seems to directly affect IQ and arguably fully explain any disparity between the races. While it is impossible to fully know whether or not the disparity between races can be fully explained by these factors, the fact that intelligence tests such as IQ are arguably not an adequate measurement of innate ability as we talked about earlier seems to minimize any potential doubts. The first environmental factor influencing IQ IQ is health and nutrition. Lead exposure, less breastfeeding, higher birth weight, lack of iron, and poor nutrition are all directly linked to a lower IQ. White people are twice as likely to be breastfed than black people, and black low birth weight is twice as prevalent as white. Also, it is found that higher nutrition standards across the world has played a role in raising population IQ. These are just a few examples of how trends in health and nutrition which correspond to race are to blame for the difference in IQ. Another environmental factor is education. Unfortunately, in America, there is a large gap in the quality of education between black and white populated areas. Studies such as Campbell and Rami from 1994 show that black children who, from a young age, have received good academic experiences as well as academic success have substantially higher IQs than those who had not received such intervention. Another finding was that when black people and white people were exposed together to the same types of critical thinking habits, they performed the same on IQ tests. The last environmental factor that is affecting the gap is that of socioeconomic environment. While this does not account for the entire gap, socioeconomic status definitely accounts for some of it. One 2015 study suggests family income, maternal education, maternal verbal ability slash knowledge, learning materials in the home, parenting factors, and safe physical environment account for a large portion of the black-white gap in cognitive ability test scores. If you are still unsure about environmental factors determining IQ, there have been multiple studies involving adoption to put your mind at ease. In 1961, a study tracked out-of-wedlock children of black and white soldiers stationed in Germany after World War II and then raised by white German mothers. The study found no significant difference in average IQ between groups. According to another study on black, white, and mixed-race children raised in British long-stay residential nurseries found, two out of three tests found no significant difference. One test found higher scores for non-whites. A third study found that adopted mixed or black children being raised in white households had substantially higher IQ compared to those raised in black households. Only one study involving adoption from 1976 called the Minnesota Transracial Adoption Study found higher IQ for white adopted children compared to blacks, but those conducting the study, Scar and Weinberg, did not even find that the results suggest that the difference was genetic. Finally, let's go ahead and say that black people do have lower IQ due to race and genetics. Hypothetically, finding scientifically without any reasonable doubt that black people are biologically less intelligent, that still wouldn't be a pass to enact racial discrimination. Humans choose what to do with scientific findings. Facts don't choose action. 
So even if that were the case, it's not an excuse for dehumanizing behavior. So what have we learned? Well, black people do have a lower IQ statistically, but it's due to a plethora of reasons unrelated to race. Even more so, IQ doesn't really mean much, and it's certainly not grounds for determining innate intelligence. So the idiots who still think with feelings instead of facts, and push the notion that black people have lower IQs because they are black, are nothing more than smooth brain Neanderthals with an IQ at room temperature. Black people are people equal to everyone else, even when it comes to innate intelligence. And that's the truth. The truth about black people.